All right, starting off uh, what'll end up being a series of longer streams, well, rather longer series of streams. Um, figure nothing more appropriate for, uh, you know, starting this off than with the good old Red Dead Redemption 2. Nice full story, nice, uh, beautiful map. And it runs great on my system. I've uh, put a good many hours into it on this PC already, not to mention PS4 uh, before all that. But alright, we're gonna sink our teeth in. Good old West. Mangoes, Arthur! Few gains still roam, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, <clears throat> an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Top tier character work all throughout. <clears throat> Really brings you into the world. Gets you engaged with the uh, everyone you're dealing with. Bring him in here. Quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. <clears throat> there was nothing more you Game certainly has a bit of a slow start, especially if you've already played through it before, supplies. but Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Does a decent I job of teaching you uh Mike scouting out ahead. A little bit of what Arthur to expect. I, we're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. Sure, doing everything this guy says is going to pan out all right. I loved Davy. Jenny. Tahiti. Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some focus. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. 
But we're going to ride out, and we're going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse <clears throat> than this before. D Dano Ms. Driscoll's. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay Have some with goddamn me. faith. We ain't <laughs> done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Uh, we need you strong. Okay. Good old uh, auto follow. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. It's a bit of torch light in the blizzard. Just atmospheric as hell for an opening. If I go faster, is he gonna match my speed here? Or? I suppose we're just going this fast. Here we go. Careful over this bridge here. Hey, move up alongside me. Can't see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire Some and shelter. Fight. That's a start. Mine goes, Arthur. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. What we got up here? <clears throat> you up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. A trustworthy Anyone fella. Home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and 
and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Coming through. Yeah, okay. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out. <clears throat> we lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes. Sometimes. Checking in the volume there, hoping it's not too quiet for the stream. Make adjustments as uh, we go along, though. Honestly, just opening up a little bit of the uh, game scenario, which if you haven't played it, you can recommend this one pretty easy. Especially if you're looking for something to occupy your time a little, uh, a little while. Stick to the story, or uh, go about and do uh, all the open world stuff. And I've had a hell of a lot of fun doing it both ways. Well, this opening sure likes to take its time with the... Opening bit of pacing. Yep, I, uh, I see it. <laughs> I just gotta make sure to feed Let's Arthur every here. now and again. I'm sure we'll be good. folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. In a whole party. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, trail. We got a problem. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need. Some There's a body in the wagon. Uh, here you just well, who doesn't have bodies in wagons these bodies. days? <clears throat> I think you now, buddy. Oh, 
Okay, buddy. There we go. I bet he's got some loot. Let's go see uh, how much this game will let me get away from everybody. Uh, what, can I not loot yet? Oh, well. Seeing that, uh, oh. <laughs> well, there's a quick fire. Yep, no looting yet. This game and it's, uh, smells like a party loot mechanics. Place upside down. Grab as many supplies oh, now we know how to loot. We need the essentials food, medicine, whiskey. Where's my Witcher vision? <laughs> oh, starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Jake and Sadie. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Get some gubbins. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Oh, what else we got? More biscuits. The horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. Never have too many biscuits. We are 87 cents richer. Need old bike. Searching the place. 
I wonder, can I get up there? Doesn't seem to want me to. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Still can't loot bodies, seems. A good old fist fight now. I'm gonna break your neck. What's going on? Now this guy just jumped. Oh, oh, did he now? Snakey little bastard. Should I kill him? No, not yet. Find out what they're doing here. And where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. They give him a jaw long enough to talk. There's not much of a jaw to begin with, though. An old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? We're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Can I hit him again? Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> I can't abide no O'Driscolls. Can't go forgetting this. Can't go leaving this lying around. Still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Alright, wants me to tie him up over here this time. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. Change his mind. Okay. 
Not that, you know, though. We'll keep you safe. Usually. You figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. So Certainly a leisurely game. Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. Game's been I out like, what, six years now? Still looks days. pretty great. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to Hey, that's racist. That's oh, right over that. Then it were day. He ain't been seen in days. So they on top of April 8th. Let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's. We're all. Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. <clears throat> this way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked <coughs> back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah. <clears throat> it's cross. 
See, they continue up that way. I feel like coming back and re-exploring this area once you're no longer on rails. Your biggest job? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Let's jump it. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Ah, uh, yes, cinematic camera. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's kind of nice letting the game kind of take over uh, navigation every now and again, but every now and again I'd just see my horse smash into something terribly in the middle of cinematic view. Usually a card or some sort of animal. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Which can be fun, you know. Come on, boy. Horse struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Still pretty. Hey, look! Over there! You see that? Tranquilo! John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. From up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Come on. Yep. That replaced my uh, revolver. Don't love that, but. Are you sure about this? Over here! Yeah. It's coming from this way! It's all okay. tutorial anyway. Careful here. Get me out of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. down here. Watch yourself. Bonk. Watch out here. <clears throat> Stay low under here. Sure took a convoluted route hey. to get lost. Good now. 
Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the... Oh. Good time for beans. Come on. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Damn, it's cold. Might chilly. Scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Never mind the fact that I never bring you up in the game that you don't time wise comes good. after this. I don't feel too good neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. I hope I'm not about to... There we go. <laughs> Walk over a ledge. Fluffs. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Alright, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. <laughs> You're just ain't in there. Let's get back to the others. I don't know where to go. Side they coming from. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. Yeah, just like knew a fella got bit by a dog, died an hour later. Can arrange you that. Gonna die? Not yet. Tenacious wolves. Look out on the right. More coming in on the left. Fuera. Get out of here. Uh, uh, you see any more under? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, 
Miss Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. You have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, and now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Look at that very blue. She'll ride in the water for a bit. Nature's angry. We killed her wolves. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? We're but, you know, to come up with a better it was story pretty metal. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, then they're getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Wait, no, this is the Donner party. Turn around. Run! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? I'm sure he can get himself off. The horse. Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Here we go. There we go. Ah, you oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Yeah, let's on, follow the snow Strauss, through the blizzard. Warm. That always you, Mr. works out. <laughs> we have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Strong. We said follow the snow through the blizzard. I was going to say the German, but you know, words, they're hard. Bear with my uh, loot goblin tendencies. It's the only way I know. Oh, I got too many health cures. Am I fully healed? Yep. Oh well. Gotta leave that one behind. No. I'm gonna mention some of these though. So a little more stamina canned peaches. There we go. Yeah, we're uh, friends you forever. Me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they they better send some good men after us, cause they ain't never gonna find us. Tahiti, oh, Arthur. Of course, does. Thank you, son, for your strength. It means a lot to me. All right, push-up contest right now. You, me. It's near corn pop. That's 
something in that cabinet? It's hard to tell what's uh, interactable at times. Empty cans. Oh well. There'll be plenty of time to loot later, I suppose. Hmm. What's in here? It's okay. More character stuff. You're safe now. She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. All right, story stuff. Here we go. Morning. Morning, Arthur. How are you holding up? Look at us. What kind of question is that? We'll find a way off here soon. Okay, Arthur. Help oh, with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell? But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! Trying to keep our You're ESG score, I can only hit you. When Como Driscoll's needing punching hard, you want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never <laughs> doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss <clears throat> and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some. Ah, see, rolling. Okay, let's go find <clears> these <throat> bastards before they find us and rob this for their planet. Still in the tutorial. <laughs> What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. These are O'Driscoll okay. tracks. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him. Tell about the lingering scent of banners and mash and whiskey. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or another. It will be. 
Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Always. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a Looking sense a of the way out of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Definitely them. Home? We're after the lucky charms. So. Yeah, that's him. If I had dead I could get him from here. talking to he don't seem very happy no they leaving seem to be should we go get them no cone can wait best to get some of them out of there and much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it all right let's go pay our old friends a visit Hata tita tata. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Me and potatoes. You two get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Peter, I'm gonna go back to the revolver for sure. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our some needs bite. right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Take your time there, Dutch. I'm just, uh... Confusing the tracker. They won't know what to make of this. Beautiful.
Watch out. This bit steep. <clears throat> So I had to jump for some reason. They're going to be gunning. Wasn't me. I was a I was all Arthur. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Stealth mode. Okay, let's get in cover. Ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Sure thing, boss. Man's head off. Yeah, threw off my targeting. Okay. There he goes. Another head. Wow. Man's head is invincible. Got this. Still. There we are. Grimace. I'll think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything. There's our loot option. Now we make him bank. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards coming out! Still looting! Shoot him. Hot to hate and a hot up. Charlie in the bushes. Maybe oh Charlie. 
Oi. Oi. There we go. I don't need no dead eye. My eyes are dead enough. Everything in Dutch after uh, I loot everybody. Like a hero. They come in handy later. I'm certain. Getting my reps in. Most stamina. Dollar dollar bills. Thank you kindly for the donations. Uh, duh, don't mind me. Arthur, get over here. Sure thing, on right my way. We don't have time to mess around. Yep, making the most direct route to where you are right now. Nothing's interrupting me. More stamina. I do quite like the way that you just sort of gradually uh, up your stats just by playing the game. Novel concept, not having to sit in a damn perk tree for 30 minutes figuring out what's what. Not that that doesn't have its plays, but, you know, it doesn't have to be every game. Uh, did I loot this guy already? Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Oh, way ahead of you. You're waiting for me to do what I'm already doing. Go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. Yep. The right man, quick. That building Five to the left, not all the other stuff. Anything Wouldn't do that. Can. Let's go. Hmm. Did I already loot this? No, this one's new. Oop, more veggies. Eat these until I have thyroid issues. Presents. I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>
All right, pick him back up. Of that cigar, you say? Fastest cigar smoker in the West. This looks important. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? I think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud I'm not entirely certain I was done looting there, you. sir. Yep, let me just trample the fire real quick. Don't mind me. Is that a box? So He'll certain. come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. Always remember to we tell your horse it's a good horse. A step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. <laughs> Until they kick you off and a cougar eats you. Then you must discipline. Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Is this making ground? Do we speed up? All right. Say so. season. Uh, nope, we're going this way. We got dinner. Let me just check his pockets for other dinner. Just isn't your dinner. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Look at the floor for a bit. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. 
Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you <laughs> to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Interpret that how you will. way to camp. But here we are. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. If it weren't such a long ride back, I'd uh, probably sit on that campfire there. I had no idea where it would put me there. I got him. Very good. If it decided to uh, reset. To your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh no! Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I gotta say him, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. What we not do here? Uh, most of it. That's all right. Kind of neat if I knew what those were before the mission, but that'd be too much uh, information, I guess. Mm. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have. A few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you in got the up Navy. to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. 
Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. <clears throat> we'll find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted, salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Yeah, I've got a nice long life ahead of me. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't an old Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. <clears throat> we'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. Uh, right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. <clears throat> You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Uh, nature. Ah, uh, snow graphics. Ah, uh, polygons. Water looks great. Never get tired of looking at the game, really. See some of the ground I've covered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Slide. Hmm. The wind's died down, too. <clears throat> That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. There's <sighs> deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Oh boy, here I go hunting again. And slowly. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track the nearly as well in the grass and woods.
There she go. Shh. Down there. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. Good shot. I feel like you're not supposed to aim for the head when you're actually hunting. Ah well, what do I know? I wonder if he'll get pissed at me for crossing here. Yeah. Doesn't care about some cold, soggy boots, apparently. I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Pick it up, Roach. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. That's right. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Oh, Driscoll's done, Except eat. Maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. 
course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll do with the crystal uh... <laughs> Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. Accent just the wide open nature here. That makes them much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I think that's part of the pacing of the opening. Just way. kind of forces you to look around. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores for years. Big guy. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, uh, is that a bear? and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Sure is. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah. Cut up here, off the trail. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. <clears throat> Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... <laughs> I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Mango. Most you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother. That ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. You taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. <clears throat> I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. <laughs> How's that new horse? 90% of this opening right. holding the A button. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. <clears throat> I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. 
I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. You have made it this way. What a surprise to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I, I got lumbago. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. <coughs> you mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. What do you think of funny? Funny half. I know you're clown. said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> All right. Just about done with the opening chapter here. It's been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is. Picks up a bed, or at least gives you the option to. Dutch being Dutch, those plans Open up and make some choices here in the next bed. Just got to get to camp. New camp. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. For the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. <clears throat> What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just, <clears throat> I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet. Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. <clears throat> Everyone ready? Yeah, this was in the opening, but here we go.
Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train was coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. The goodies. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Never skips you along anywhere. Let's ride right along with the camera. Maybe that's actually a little bit of a jump since I've uh, darkened. I'm pretty sure this area wasn't too far from where we just were. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Yep, My it's light Bill, again. Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I Pinkertons. say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. There we go. Yep. How you getting on? Okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Oh, this is exciting. Unspooling. Uh, let me do that. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. 
Absolutely. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here. Any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Black, huh? I've got that. I'm rushing, don't worry. Go on this quick as we can. We have to stop this train. How are you doing there? I'm okay. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Hey. Good. 
Be right there, boss. I get my directest route. Mm-hmm. No lollygagging. What are you doing? Get over here. Making my way. Wouldn't stop or pause or break for anything. Well, I mean, come on. Mm hmm. Yep, no games. Oh, what's that? Uh... Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, anyone else? Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Dynamite. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you've got a death wish, not step back, fellas. Search that train. Uh, uh, excuse me, fellas. I'm the one in the way. <sighs> All right. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, <clears throat> will ya? Parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Well, we got here. Let's see if we can get this open. Uh, what about... There he is. On. On. Get in there. More brandy. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. 
Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. <laughs> Railroad contracts, invoices, mm, monies. blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. No, this looks like something. Have you checked Presents. All the drawers and cabinets? I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? Train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's <clears throat> up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Is it up to me? Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <clears throat> well, sorry, fellas, no loose ends. It's gonna send an entourage after me before I finish my looting. It does that sometimes. Actually, I don't think it's gonna do it until I send the train off. Wouldn't have killed them all if they weren't villains. Probably. Oh, someone will deal with that, I'm sure. hellhole we're gonna try weather seems stable and we just robbed the leviticus cornwall train we got money in our pockets the worst is behind us gentlemen so the question uh, is where now i know this country a little i told you we <clears> should <throat> set up camp in horseshoe overlook near valentine 
We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Nothing, I'm sure. Gospelly. Getting greener. Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. So anyway, about the good old days and everything that's gone wrong with Dutch. Get us out the Look at all that though. I know, I was, I was just going to park here. Um. Well. Okay, let's take a look. Everything look all right. Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the there Mr. Tire around here somewhere. Right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <clears throat> Shoulder check it a few times. Nearly That'll there. do. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. It's only like, what, 600 pounds? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Like the buffalo. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. <clears throat> the innocent war tribes. <clears throat> Disrupted their centuries of peace with the white man. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then... Cut left inland. Or something like that. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. Well, damn. Well, that's never happened to anyone in history. Anywhere in well, the world. Maybe except for here. Not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Mm. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. 
Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while, and a number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. <clears throat> oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never oh, saw riding her the trail and talking about stuff. He, he was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. Good talk, you know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's Pfizer. Thank you. Won't give you myocarditis or nothing. Oh jeez. Oh, oh jeez. Well. Take your time back there. Okay, let's go. See if we can't fix Any this. In here? Oh no. Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work. Oh jeez. Oh, no right dear. Now, anyway. There we go. Instructions unclear. Horse stuck in tree.
It's perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I really like that virgin land. My brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? <clears throat> this world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, don't stop everyone, me. Everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. <coughs> that seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. <coughs> Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Home sweet home. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there, Jose. Good old cafe. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> and you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Well, now that I can finally make some choices here after that intro, let's shave.
Yeah, just cut it short for now. That hipster beard off of us. <clears throat> got in here well, let's get our unforgiven hat going Saying our code will work for now. Sure, that'll look good under there. Go ahead and save this here outfit, and we'll better set a couple for hotter weather and colder. the hot weather. Here's something for a little bit cooler. Let's get that medium one going though. Now we can do that the horse. It's kind of weird if you're uh, adjusting stuff on the fly. How's a cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in mm. black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. But you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. Is there an option to complete that within six minutes? Well, let's throw some money into the camp. We're not at the point where we can start buying stuff at the camp, though, so... Yeah, well. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pierce. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. To the horse. Uh, 
gonna check this first. <clears throat> hmm. Sure, why not? You right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man in town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can we miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. And into Valentine we go. There's a horse over here. See, I can be okay. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to make? Last time I ever do anything nice a ever. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. 
Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. <laughs> Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Everyone left here, down the main street. There's all on the right. Fit money in it. Pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Seems like a good enough spot. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine wearing Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> that's okay. a nickname. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. Hell, you know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Well, let's sell some of this stuff. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yep. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, okay. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world. You know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train 
full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country <clears throat> at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. We're still in care. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. <laughs> oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. <clears throat> You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with oh, Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Come on, Lee. Come on. Can I help you, sir? Help people. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh... A friend of his? A friend of hers. How's it look? No trouble now, please. Oh yeah, never. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. <laughs> Wrong way. Well. was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Well. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. <sighs> Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Please, Listen, please, buddy, come, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Borrowing this horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now.
No loose ends. stuff up. Good old carrots. Down here. Javier. I can borrow this horse for a bit. Let's go ahead and sell these. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. And a bit of that. <sighs> Real good doing business with you. Thanks for your assistance. Marksman in town. Welcome. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Let's see what we got. Can't buy the Schofield yet. This one's free. Go ahead and take one of them. Fine piece. Mauser. Quite a ways away from that, I think. Oh, that's free. Take that. Yep, this is the one. Springfield rifle I can buy. Well, when I get my money anyway. Pump action shoddy. Hell yeah. Smile on your face, <clears throat> Take one of them. Alright. See what kind of upgrades I can put on here. If I can. Do I have to bring it with? Maybe I gotta bring it with. I just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that though. Damn. Well. Heh. 
be just about all my money right there. Capacity for repeater rifle and shotgun. So degradation of all weapons by 10%. And increased capacity of revolver and pistol ammo by 50%. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. Let's go ahead and take one of these. All the trouble in Valentine late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Not the curse, anyway. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? <laughs> not what I was trying to do. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, Who's sir. your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? Hmm. The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me, and I could be free from ever nowadays. having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? <clears throat> the joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, <clears throat> well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. <sighs> I can't believe I just said That's that. That's illegal. You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. <laughs> Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> oh, get Oh, boy, photos. here we go shooting again. Okay. <clears throat> and there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Well, all right. Find Javier now. Hey, get moving. Be up there. Come on, Charles. 
Yeah, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. <laughs> Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a mm -hmm. pussy cat. And that's so, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. Starfight. There we go. My hat fell. Get him, get him, get him. What the hell's going on down here? Stay out of this. Come here, you little greaser. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Yeah, you like a girl. <laughs> Rapture is kidding. Uh, I can't. There's a chair in the way. You want something Things are going outside now. Hey. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? <laughs> I hope you got more than that. Oh, it's uh, oh, oh boy. Guess I gotta do the counters. Doesn't always help. This will be fine. Bonk. 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 More bonk. Hey, come on, stop that. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. <clears throat> yeah, someone probably use a shower. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. <laughs> Joe Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. <laughs> ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We <laughs> left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. 
He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much oh money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we stay foot in Blackwater, uh, ah. <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. <laughs> Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. <clears throat> what about me? Scrub a dub dub. Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> Oh, that's not so bad. Can I not recover my hat? I can. Anyone watching? Here's none of my concern. Yep, that's right, you back off. Oh, I can't loot him. Well, got the hat anyway. Moving on. Hmm. They just ride back without me? Alright. I guess I can't recover it from here yet either. going on in here. Welcome after a ticket. Yeah, why not? Ticket for one, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. What do we got here? Settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, um, bear was by the stream. Is that bear okay? And wind appeared, said bear. I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now well, don't make the bear them, sad. But he knew to do I don't think he's catching any of those fish. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. Uh -huh. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear is finally taking leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. No. Nah. If Wind comes, I'll just hide my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's mm -hmm. so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. 
Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, good and bear. fell fast asleep. It's okay, it looks like it's about to eat it. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the Never snow didn't. melted, he saw all his friends who <clears> hadn't <throat> listened, frozen, oh and my. just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Oh, the logical conclusion to all of that. Fifty cents. Outrageous. I didn't even get any popcorn. Come again. Yeah, maybe. Well. Anything else going on in town here? Oops. Nope. I gotta run back, do I? Oh, here we go. Get my reps in, get that stamina up. It's cardio day. Oh. Kinda of paying off it seems like. Oh, oh. What did I just step on? Some good old oregano. Something quite fishy going on right here. What in the... Hmm. Sir, are you okay? Hmm. Four out of ten. Some sort of clue, hint, something or other around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, this can only be good. Clue is killer. Back to camp. Getting the lungs good.
think it's this way. Oh, good you to finally join me. All right. Now let's go find that uh, bit of treasure down here that I recall. All right. Galloping causes exercise, and it's good for the horse. Burnt out old town. Oh, what? Oh, who we got here? Lord have mercy. Oh my. Well, I'll be having that. To the gold. Anything in any of these uh here buildings? Nope. Don't think there was anything in this one either, but poke our head in. Oh that sucks. To be uh left like that your door was open you have no excuse all right let's check out this one here I do believe that ah, there it is Gold bar, right off the bat. Killing it. I think that's just about it for this location. Back to camp. Fellow over here picking Indian tobacco or something along those lines. No, yes, maybe. Maybe not this time. Or he just kind of spawns randomly. Who knows? All right. See what uh, who's next, Javier. Let's see what he has to say. Mm -hmm. 
back to camp. And we got Jose over here. Hey, Arthur. Jose. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. Bear I reckon season. nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. Oh, you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. <laughs> this one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. <laughs> Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You can buy yourself a new horse. There Put we your go. saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Uh, I guess you're right. I guess I got out of this here. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No. He's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. That's a bigger horse for sure. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Technically, I think it was just a fist fight, but you know. Stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. <clears throat> Came back in the next day and he woke back up. To the trail, back, back to the trail, back to the those boys. Jenny too. Pretty she game though, and at least you don't that girl. You have to stick with the story this closely if you're just trying to explore. Well, Pretty much as soon as you get to camp, well, you can just kind of go off in any direction and uh, like and hunt, do some side quests, meet Bill some uh, interesting characters, <laughs> or just enjoy the different locations. I mean, it's a pretty big map, but we'll still right. did a lot with it. Just need some money to get back in our feet. Doesn't feel empty anywhere. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Again, just draws you Not in. Yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Lost some easy days in this game. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Of a horse. Okay. I'm sure. going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? Is your mustache you big in enough, sir? For a new horse, something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. 
game. What we got? Sixty-five. That's better than they usually give you for horse without papers. Chonker. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what else I can get. Thoroughbred don't cost a thing. And those stats, though. Yeah, we're gonna. Ooh. What do we got here? Uh. Yeah, let's keep it simple. All right. Can't go riding something without styling up a bit. from what I got right now. Well, got anything that'll, uh, what does this, what does this improve? Increase storage, stamina drain, stamina regen, ooh, hmm. How much is this? 40. It's gonna be half. Pre purchased. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the saddle first. I feel like that's uh, worthy investment to get that faster stamina regeneration. Just short though. Can't get the one I want. Yeah, we'll be back. I don't think there's anything too taxing this early on. Besides, the horse itself had some pretty good uh, stats already. Let's just kind of run right, as partner. is. You got yourself a deal. Upgrade and we get a little more cash in hand. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. All right. What a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see.
Okay, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. Off to Go. hunt some bear. We're for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. <clears throat> it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. Pretty I've nights in this game. To him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's cold. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I think I'm probably wearing uh, too light of an outfit for this. I think I can switch though, since I've got new uh, new horror should have my outfit settled up on it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber. Well, I did just pick up a varmint rifle. If it'll let me... Ah, oh, there it varmint is. Varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Yep. That's just kind of the old fashioned way. Horseback. Easy enough. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, since we're bear hunting, I definitely want to have this handy. Well, then you get it set up. Uh, I'm famished. 
Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> Alright, up some bunny here. And I got some oregano earlier, so let's make it a little fancy like. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Oregano bunny. A lot of meat on that rabbit. Jeez. I'm supposed to have this much? Yeah, guess that's it. All right. All right. Well. We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Back in just a moment. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Oh, what are we doing here? Crafting menu. Back to it. Well, I wonder what it wants me to make. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. All right. Okay. Let's go. What are you doing? Yep. We'll try uh, and down down the water. That's where I saw. All right. Get that pump action shotgun. Drop and repeater for sure. Probably the volcanic pistol. I'm last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did 
Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. It didn't <clears throat> last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip sure. by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, donk, bones, any sign of him. Some paw marks here, Jose. He sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. All right. Clue number D. Up in this way. Going to those. Clue number three, which means something else on the ground. Just here, there she is. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Yeah, let's bring him here. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Alrighty then. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Oh, sure. no. 
Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. that wrong. Can I just redo that? God. Ah, fuck off. Okay. Well. It's a damn load. Hmm. No, that was a good old time ago. Shit. I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Convenient. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Oh, I'm not done here. Well, I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> right. I'll see you back at camp. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh good, my hat. The game just did not want to give me a uh, chance to set up there. Just bare in your face. We gotta show you. But hey. It must be a way off. Already here. Back. Damn it. I was expecting the third clue. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this is uh, less than stellar. Well, we got it though. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'll be having that skin. <laughs> Expert hunter. Never mind the uh, claws all over my back. Claw marks on my back. 
That, that means, uh, that means it was earned. Whew. <laughs> oh, I really thought there was going to be a third, uh, hint on the ground before he popped in. Oh. Mine now. there a little. Need to bring it to uh, this man or here. Yeah. Took down that bear like a champ. Mostly wrestled it with a knife. Jacket here too. Oh, it took away uh took away my other outfits. Love it. Never patched that, did they? I'm just stuck with this now. Yes. Yeah, okay. Great. Yeah, uh, for uh, some reason every now and again if you set outfits uh Mount to your like mounted to your horse. The game will just decide so, sometimes that they're not there. It'll just take them away from you after you've done all that. But you know. There, boy. Like I need a you know warm outfit in colder climates. Cool though. <clears throat> yep. Good business. Oh, I know those scars anywhere. 
Looks like Ferrati met his match up. Take care. If you're traveling, might see you along the way. Yeah, you can just get that. Hello. New face there. Hey, cool new outfits you got for me. Around. Don't doubt it. Neat. Well, <clears throat> come back for uh, some of that good stuff later, I think. That's that sold. A little bit of money out of it. Probably back to camp now. That one's busy over there. remember to encourage the horse. Good boy. Yeah. They're very self-conscious creatures. Probably try to snag a deer on the way. Come back empty handed. Gonna get mugged, am I? Yes, yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you, thank Whoa. you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Mm-hmm. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. You get defeated. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. Yeah, you can take yourself home. Have fun, though. You only need one foot to walk yeah, anyway. I know, but would you mind taking me home? Not sure if my leg will get me there. 
Nope. Freda can't, ma'am. Got places to be. Of course. Thank you for helping me as much as you did. Study some of these here animals. Man, three star mule and ox. Yep. Kill them right, that stuff's pretty good for uh, crafting some useful equipment. Uh, there's a three star. Ah, uh, never mind. This is the wrong rifle for that. Wait, wait, wait. Is it though? He's injured. But did he go down? No, he did not. Star, one star. Ah, oh, well. Let's just kill one of these and take it back. Yeah. Hey, that's a kill. There, there. to camp with you. Almost like an exercise in relaxation, just uh, getting into the hunting part of this game. Especially when you're going for like the kind of rarer stuff, you just gotta really sort of set in and camp out and search. Oh, Driscoll's! Two lesser Driscolls. And a couple more dollars and some ammunition for me. Much obliged.
for dinner. Interrupted on the way. Let's try to give him a wide berth. Okay. Okay, Mr. Morgan. There we are. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Good job, Mr. Morgan. All yeah, right. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Pierce. Well, let's go ahead and end it on that for the night. Plenty more of these streams to come. Uh, Going to be dividing up a little bit of what I do uh, so that, you know, I'll have a... Uh, Probably a weekly stream of, you know, games that don't take quite as long to get through. Try to complete each of those as I go and just uh, kind of go back and forth with, uh, you know, different games, different titles and larger franchises, one-offs, just kind of whatever I'm feeling. Uh, but then I'll have streams for uh, longer games like this, which will probably run for, you know, a good while longer. Uh, probably less regular, uh, you know, times and intervals. Then, of course, there's going to be uh, kind of the Drunk Souls type uh, streams, which will be, you know, more so along the weekends. Uh, be pairing up with uh, one of my buds for most of those. Um, got some uh, drinking rules set up for that, which uh, everyone that watches is going to be welcome to join along with. But uh, we'll also be going kind of back and forth, swapping who's in control of those ones. So look forward to more of that. Um, in the meantime, just... Uh, Hope you stay tuned for more of what we got coming, and uh, if you watched this and took the time, thank you for joining. <laughs>